welcome to my channel. I'm the Angry Simmer, and today's video is a little bit specialer than more special <laughs> than normal. Um, I know I always say that there I have been lately saying a lot of like this is a super special build, but this one actually feels really special. I'm really hyped about it. I've actually tried to do the voiceover like several several times now, but I just keep getting like just too woo about it. So um, we are building first off in Oasis Springs, which we never do, um, and I don't understand why. Thinking about this, and you'll understand why. I'm like, why do I never build here in about a second? But um, so Oasis, Oasis Springs is one of the worlds that. The the Sims team built, um, and the, it's the second world actually, and of course the Sims team built it, but it's supposed to look like Palm Springs, but to me it's always felt more like uh, Southern California or Las Vegas slash Henderson, Nevada, which Henderson is a residential area right outside of Las Vegas. So um, if you hear some random noise in the background, my cat is trying to get in the window. Hold on. Sorry, um, she's stepping on my Wi-Fi router to do this. Hold on. Okay, I had to kick her out before she killed the Wi-Fi router. <laughs> she doesn't weigh that much, but like, I don't know. I don't want to risk it. Anyways, but so um, I'm building this house because it is a model home build. Model home build. It's a floor plan that I saw on um, a real estate company for Las Vegas's website or for Henderson, Nevada's uh, area. And... <laughs> I am doing that because my husband and I are considering moving to Henderson and I'm super excited about it. And we're t not like tomorrow sort of situation, but we're just, you know, going, Hey, this is, this is, might be one, this might be an area that we would enjoy living in and it's close to a friend of mine. Um, I've actually got a friend who lives in Southern California. We met through writing fan fictions because we're so cool like that. We're so rock and roll. Um, <laughs> but she lives in Southern California and, um, it was kind of funny the other day, it was like 53 degrees here and, uh, this weekend it'll be snowing and icing, but whatever. Um, so it was like 53 degrees and I was all excited and I like wore shorts and, uh, sent her a picture of it. I'm like, look, it's so warm. I can wear shorts. It's so nice. And she's like, oh, what? It's so cold here right now. What temperature is it? And I was like, it's 53 degrees. And she goes, that's not warm. That is not what warm is. You're insane. It's 53 degrees here right now and I'm freezing. And I was like, well, differences. But then I went to walk to the mailbox and I like stepped outside, just one step out the front door and it was just like, ah, it's so cold. So um, I'm pretty much over the cold basically. Um, but also like living out in the desert, A, I love the landscape. I love it. It's just so beautiful out there. And my husband and I have gone, um, to Vegas three times and the Grand Canyon twice and the Grand Canyon is the big thing that really um, pulls me out that way which I could you know we could live in Phoenix Arizona and be uh, like 30 minutes closer to the canyon than we would be in Henderson but there, like there's a ton of restaurants that we love out there uh, we love the fact that we can go out to Lake Mead anytime we want and get on our boat or go kayaking and um, or we can do that more often than we can use the waterways in the area that we live in. And we've been wanting to learn how to dive for a really long time. And yeah, the they don't do as much diving in Missouri as they do other places. There's a, you know, there's a couple dive shops that we will be learning from uh, how to dive, but um, it, it, it's a lot less often than you, they have to go to like the Grand Caymans and places like that to go diving. And that's just not time or cost effective when like Lake Mead, it's 54 degrees right now. It's going to be in the sixties later today. So you can still go diving. Oh, I forgot to take that one out, even though I went another day on editing this and edited that some more. Yay. I'm so smart guys. Um, but remember to save your game. So it's just my random PSA. I saved this like three or four times because my computer was glitchy and my editing software has been glitchy. It's been really crazy. But it, I think it's all like my nervous energy or my excited energy is just going woo into the computer. And I start, when I was building this, A, I was like taking a little bit more time because I was actually considering how we would live in it. And there would definitely be that double oven because this uh, move would also be can, like my in-laws would be going with us. And um, yeah, so that's part of it. Cause my husband's like, would you really move all the way away from the family? And his mom was like shutting that down. She's like, oh no, I'm coming with you. So there better be a room in the house for me. I'll, I'll be uh, the housekeeper and your dad can be the gardener and uh, the pool boy. And I was just laughing. 
so hard at that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Because right now we do live, like, uh, 15 minutes to my parents' house, 15 minutes... I'd say 10 minutes to his parents' house, 15 if you're driving the speed limit anyways. Um, <laughs> but, and then, um, like, um, my grandparents are 10 to 15 minutes away from us. His little brothers are uh, 10 to 30 minutes away from us, the two different ones. Uh, his little sisters still live with his parents, but they won't be as of, like, next year. Um, but, yeah, all of my cousins are here by, close by and things like that. So we do live in kind of, like really close proximity to all of our family and it's you know it's really nice but we're all freezing cold and if our family wanted to go to out to Vegas like our favorite cousins do like to go out there um, they could stay with us and it would be wonderful and I fully believe that my parents should move out there too because I just feel like my dad would really enjoy living there there's a lot of like or there's a more there's a stronger music scene from what I've noticed and there's just more of his people there and like my dad's in a metal band and he's yeah he's just cool like that and Vegas is kind of cool area so you know um <laughs> but anyways it just there's it just offers us more time to do the things that we like to do more often if that makes sense so we were really like sitting down and thinking about it and I had gotten like super hyped about it and we might be taking a trip out there which is going to make this whole like wanderlust of mine to w want to move out there even stronger um, especially because it's gonna be in like springtime and it'll still be cold here but it'll be beautiful there and um, I am currently sick if you can't tell by the extreme nasalness of my voice right now usually it's a little nasal but today it is off the charts nasal anyways but um, yeah we've gone out to the canyon every time in April and we've got, and of course, out to Vegas every time has been in April. And it's just so fun because Vegas is like in the 80s at that time. And the canyon, however, in the morning, you have a likelihood of getting snow. And at like late at night and during the day, it warms up and it's beautiful. And it's the perfect time to take a hike and um, enjoy an adventure through the area. And it's just, it speaks to my soul. And so part of this discussion, and it's been really funny, is uh, it started because we did a VR um, Google Earth situation <laughs> and I was I put, set myself down in the canyon and then I sat down on the floor because it just I don't know there was just something about it that felt almost I don't want to say spiritual but like that's the best way to get the idea across is it just felt so I don't know there, something inside of me just went <sighs> I belong here and so it, my husband kind of joked around and was like, yeah, it doesn't speak to my soul the way it does to yours. Um, and he never talks like that. So it was funny that he would say, you know, it didn't speak to my soul. But uh, <laughs> it, it just does. It really does. There's something about it that just draws me in and I feel at home and it feels right. And um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I love it. And I want to be closer to that at all times and then be closer to one of my best friends and the landscape that I love like every time we don't do Vegas the way normal people do we don't gamble we don't really drink um, we like to go to Cirque du Soleil shows those are absolutely amazing because you're seeing people ex you know they're showing talents that are not very common um, and it definitely like makes me want to work out more <laughs> which I always need a little push uh, so that would you know I'd be in better shape if I lived in Vegas because I could go running outside more often like uh, I'm supposed to be doing a mile a day right now and um, I'm a little behind because a I've been sick but B um, it's very dusty in my basement and my treadmills down there and it made me it made my uh, nasalness much worse the other day when I went down to do two, not two miles to make up for missing a day and uh, it's too cold to run outside. I just, I'm a big baby. I'm not running outside when it's 30 degrees. I'm just not gonna do it anymore. I, I did it a couple times and this is what I end up with. So I'm, I'm not doing it, but in Vegas, I could. I keep saying Vegas. We wouldn't move to like North Vegas or anything like that. We'd be in Henderson, which has, um, if you've been on the channel for a while, you've probably heard me mention my dog, Momo. Yes, she's named after uh, a character from The Last Airbender. Yes, I don't care. I'm a nerd. I know. Whatever. Anyways, um, <laughs> so there is a place called Momo Sushi out there, and I absolutely love it. And then there's a place called Mimi's Place, which my grandmother, we call her Mimi. And it's uh, like a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but they have like a brunch that we really enjoy. And then um, 
going out to the canyon, there's a place called Lulabelle's, which is just incredible. It's got these amazing mountain views from um, this sort of like Aspen style looking restaurant, but it has like cowboy paraphernalia all over it because that's cowboy land out there. <laughs> um, and the food's just absolutely incredible. And we like, when we were going to the canyon the first time with my aunt and uncle, we stopped there to eat and we happened to be there on like the first day that they were open. So it was really cool. And um, since then, it's they've been really successful, which is great. And we've gotten to kind of see them grow. And, I don't, it's, and it's weird because it's in a place called Ash Fork, Arizona. And Ash Fork basically looks like a zombie apocalypse town. Like, it looks like there's nothing there. And the people that own this restaurant own everything in the town. Like, there's a gas station and... Um, something else i can't remember there's like a gas station this restaurant and one other property that they own and those are the only properties that are owned by people other than like farms um well, sorry i've got some like clothes set up on a rack behind me that i need to go through and i just like caught it out of the back of my eye or the corner of my eye and it was like ah somebody's in my office because it's really creepy nobody should be in the house at all except for myself and the cat and the dog so that freaked me out <laughs> for a second there sorry Anyways, Ash Fork, Arizona, beautiful, beautiful. Like the whole trip from Vegas out to the canyon will just blow your mind. It's so wonderful. And I'm talking about the uh, South Rim, by the way. We don't go to the North Rim. It's a long trip from everywhere. And it's there's more fees going there. People try to charge you for getting onto the land. And I'm not going to go into that because that's a whole cultural thing. And it's part of my culture. And... And I'm already saying too much. Anyways, so, um, and I just, I don't think that you should charge people to look at the land. I just, or, and appreciate it, like, whatever. Uh, moving on. So, the South Rim is where it's at. It's beautiful. The, we're going to go to Yavapi Lodge, which is, um, let me say this now. It's not a five-star hotel. It's not. It, it's like going to camp. But it's clean. You're right on the canyon and the grounds are beautiful and there's these trees and moose walking around everywhere and it's just it's it's the best and i love it and so the room we're working on right now would be my mother-in-law's room at the house by the way i haven't talked zero about this house in this iteration of trying to build or to do the voiceover but yeah we are working on currently what would be my mother-in-law's room i think where that mirror is i'd probably like put in a little dry bar she said she, there better be a wet bar for her there. Like, you know, a mother-in-law, a true mother-in-law suite with a mini kitchen and all that. So, but like, she's right outside of the kitchen, you know, <laughs> the design of this house is very, um, enjoy each other. I think that's really what it is made up to. But then of course we have our like separate hallway to get to our room and our room is separated by not only the closet, but the bathroom and the to before you get to our room so any noise from guests would be drowned out which is very important plus we'd have our own walk out to the pool um <laughs> i'm daydreaming about stuff that is probably not gonna happen we probably won't buy this house but it, i think this is a great floor plan for us my husband uh said that it would be like a downsizing so right now we have a three bedroom three bath home we use one of the bedrooms as an office and then uh, the basement, we're kind of, it's kind of like a catch-all right now, but we're trying to set up where I have like the gym in the room that's currently covered in dust and junk. And then the, there's like a wide open space down there for guests and we're gonna like put up a projector screen and set up for us to have like family time down there. But uh, I'll be honest, like I had all these lofty ideas for our house that we currently have. Like I shiplapped the bathroom. You guys, if you're, if you've been around for a while, yes, I went ahead and I did it. I shiplapped that bathroom. I'm very happy about how it turned out. Um, but like we were talking about replacing the countertops in the kitchen with newer, not granite, because like that doesn't work in this area. We're like at the top end of house prices in our area. So like we wouldn't get our money back if we put a ton of the upgrades that we've thought about putting in. Um, because we were planning to stay here long term like we on top of that we were gonna um, actually no I think remodeling the kitchen is really the only thing like I was gonna put in a new sink and we we're gonna we have basically like an L and so there's a small uh, cabinet or uh, stove I wanted to say refrigerator for some reason and then there's a uh, like a connecting cabinet that goes into an L off of it and when you open 
a drawer, it bumps against the handle of our stove. And so you have to open the stove to get into the drawer that has the utensils that you use on the stove because you keep those close to the stove because you use them on the stove. And so it, it's just useless and stupid. And so we were gonna take that out and put a regular cabinet next to the stove and then put in an island, which we've already bought the island. It's not like a kitchen cabinet island, like nothing fancy. Cause it's, it's essentially a galley kitchen. It's a slightly wider galley kitchen that we have. Um, but because you know, you can fit in the L, but we got a, uh, we got a little like rollable island thing and we built a new kitchen table that we ended up putting in our sunroom. So we're getting rid of the like uh, bar height kitchen table that we have in there and we'll like keep the island over there when we're not using it and we can like put stools on it so that we can have breakfast um, because it's just big enough for like two, two stools. Um, but you know, not, not have uh, you know, too much extra space taken up, but still have the storage, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if we're like we still might do that, but I don't know if we're gonna go for as nice cabinet or countertops because like <laughs> it's put, I don't know if we'll ever get the money back, but like this house I'm going all out with everything that I would like to do in it. So like we're currently working on the master bedroom. I would ship lap everything. I don't even care that people are saying that it's out already. I don't care. I love it. It's I like the texture, I like the white, I like the clean lines of it. It feels like you've done more without having to do as much, I guess is the way to put it. Like, it just, like I, I wanted to put a bookshelf in there, but it just felt like it was taking up too much space and just felt awkward, I don't know. But so, I, as you can tell, I like minimal. I don't like a ton of stuff. I don't like clutter, which is the issue that we're having in the house. Like every time my husband says that he's think like this would be a downsize, we would move to a smaller home with less stuff to deal with. I'm like, how? We have so much junk. We have so much stupid stuff that we need to get rid of. But then like, hopefully he means we're gonna like, before we move, get rid of all the stupid stuff. <laughs> you know, that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? To move with less stuff and you know, have a smaller house to have to deal with. But our biggest thing with our house is that like my husband doesn't think that we need uh, the three bedrooms. He, I think his idea though is uh, that we'd have one bedroom and an office upstairs. That's what he said. But mostly like if we were to move out of the house that we currently live in and move to something else here. And then we'd have like guest space in the basement. So instead of us having like two guest spaces like we do now which there's no more guest space in this office we took the uh trindle bed that we had in here and put it downstairs to use as a couch but uh yeah there's it's just an office and a guest bedroom upstairs which he does have a point we almost never have guests because we don't like people i hate to be that person but we just we don't and it's awful and i'm sorry but like my niece comes to visit my niece and nephew and then like sometimes friends but not very often so I get it I get why we wouldn't need four bedrooms in Vegas but his parents would live with us so we'd need four bedrooms so yeah anyways we are almost to the screenshots I hope you've enjoyed listening to me babble about wanting to move to another state and hopefully you guys take a vacation and see that area and see what I'm talking about and um, if you'd like to download this it is on the gallery thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you later bye